Hello guys, welcome to our channel CSA Concepts with Parinta. So guys, in today's video, we are going to learn a very important topic of compiler that is dead code elimination. So dead code elimination is one of the very important techniques of code optimization. We have already studied about various code optimization techniques and this is also one of them. So in this video, we are going to understand what are dead code elimination. We are going to understand this concept with the help of various important points I'm going to tell you and also at the end we will check out how to apply dead code elimination on the given code with the help of two different types of examples and we can see how to optimize the code with the help of dead code elimination. Fine? Okay. Now let's start. What is dead code elimination? So basically dead code elimination removes unnecessary instructions from the program. Got it? Dead code elimination means what? We are going to eliminate unnecessary instructions from the program. Fine. Whatever instructions are unnecessary, unused in the program, we will directly remove them. Dead code is a section in the source code of the program which is executed but whose result is never used in other computation. That means what? The uh, we can say what is dead code. So dead code is the block of code or the part of code present in your program that is not actually affecting your output. Fine. The piece of the code that is not executed, that is not affecting your output or that is not affecting any other code present in your program. Fine. So such piece of code that is not used anyway, anywhere, it is known as dead code. So we can simply remove that dead code. Now, why to remove or eliminate that dead code? So that dead code elimination prevents wastage of execution time and memory. So... If dead code is present in our uh, program, then that piece of code, though it is unused, it will take the execution time as well as memory. So by eliminating that piece of code, what we can do, we can make our program faster and we can make the usage of the memory low. That means we can use the memory and time efficiently. Fine. So that's why dead code elimination is very important. This dead code elimination is also known as dead code removal or dead code stripping. So dead code stripping is a very uh, important, um, like we can say that this word, many students are not uh, knowing this word stripping. So this is very important terminology that dead code elimination is also known as dead code removal or dead code stripping. Fine. Now let's see with the help of example that how this dead code elimination actually works. So I have uh, taken two different examples. First of all, let's see a simple example on dead code elimination. Now the first example is, let's say the code given to us is C is equal to A star B. Now one assignment is done here, T is equal to A. And then the third line of code is D is equal to A star B plus 4. Now, if you see this code properly, you can see that here in the second line, what we are doing, we are assigning the variable A to the variable T. But if you uh, see further, if you see in the third line, this variable T is not used anywhere, right? We are simply assigning the value of A to the value of T, but this T is not used anywhere further. That means what? This assignment T equal to A is totally useless. There is no use of this line. So what we can do in dead code elimination, this T equal to A is our unused code. That means it is our dead code. So we can simply remove them. So after elimination, we can directly write these two lines that is C equal to A star B and D is equal to A star B plus 4. So what we have done here, we have removed this dead code and so our code, the new code is the optimized code. Fine. This is how we can apply the dead code elimination and we can optimize the code. Now, let's see second example. It is a uh, little complex and it will give you a better idea. See, let's say we are having this code. Uh, let's say this is one. This is the block of a function. Fine. Any function block is there. What is done here? First of all, two integer variables are declared. Integer i, comma global. i is assigned the value 1. Global is assigned the value 1. Then global is assigned the value 2, then return is there and then global equal to 3. Now, 
if you observe this code properly you will notice that here we are having written now the updated value of global that can be written is global equal to 2 that means this line that is global equal to 1 will not make any sense right so we can say that this is what this is dead store because global equal to 1 makes no sense because when we are writing global equal to 2 the value of the global is already updated it will override fine so that means global equal to 1 is dead storage similarly here see here we are writing return so whenever we are writing return in any function the execution returns from there now once the execution returns from there whatever you will write after return it won't be executed at all that means this line written this line uh, after return that is global equal to 3 this is an unreachable code the execution will never come here so at the time of dead code elimination so this global equal to 1 this is also our dead code and global equal to 3 this is also our dead code also here integer i is of no use so we can simply remove all of them and after elimination this whole code can be written in optimized way in this three lines only got it so dead code elimination includes uh, removal of unused assignments like this t equal to a uh, we can remove dead storage we can remove unreachable code so in this in uh, so i have shown three four different cases in these two examples so if any such case occurs if anyhow the execution uh, like if anyhow there is any type of code present in your program that is of no use that is simply taking the time and space you can remove and eliminate them with the help of dead code elimination and then in this way you can optimize your code in a much efficient way fine so i hope that code elimination is clear to you with the help of this video in case you still have any doubt you can always ask in the comment section and if you like the video please give it a like button and please share it with all your friends and classmates thank you so much